In this video, we will delve deep into how the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot will assist humankind in colonizing Mars, why the Tesla bot is better equipped than human astronauts, and explore what early colonization efforts may look like. With that said, our dedicated team here at Nanalyze has researched, written, and curated hundreds of in-depth articles on everything from quantum computing to space exploration. The Nanalyze article, Investing in SpaceX, with Bally Griffid US Growth Trust, was the inspiration for this very video. If you would like to support Nanalyze and support these videos directly, then please click the first link in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. It's very much appreciated. Also check out our free newsletter linked below. Unlike Earth, planet Mars is a desolate, barren wasteland devoid of all life. Situated 245.4 million kilometers away from the sun, the surface temperature fluctuates between a rather pleasant 21 degrees C and a frigid minus 128 degrees C. The rusty brown Martian regolith is toxic with high concentrations of chlorine perchlorate compounds and heavy metals such as lead and cadmium. The planet's surface is subjected to 40 to 50 times the radiation dosage we encounter here on Earth due to its lack of a magnetosphere and atmospheric density being only 1% of Earth's. Mars is far from a tropical island paradise. However, it may be humankind's only hope to preserve our fragile species. On September 27, 2016, billionaire visionary Elon Musk outlined SpaceX's core objective to make humanity a multi-planetary species by colonizing the Red Planet. In early plans for Martian colonization, teams of human astronauts would make the perilous voyage to Mars aboard the SpaceX Starship launch vehicle. Although plans haven't changed publicly, human astronauts may no longer be the ideal candidate for enduring such a treacherous mission. On August 20th, 2021, Tesla unveiled concept renders of a sleek, futuristic humanoid robot called Optimus during the company's first Artificial Intelligence Day presentation. Fast forward just over two years, Optimus has become a functional product demonstrated at Tesla's 2023 Investor Day. Standing 173 centimeters tall and weighing 73 kilograms, Optimus is designed to reflect the average human physique. This would make sense as the robot will carry out dull, dirty, and dangerous tasks in a world built by humans for humans. This certainly applies to environments here on Earth. However, Optimus could construct Earth-like environments on Mars. Optimus has a carrying capacity of 20 kilograms, can deadlift 68 kilograms, and has the ability to lift 4.5 kilograms with an outstretched arm. These values can change depending on the gravity of the operating environment. For example, Mars is 10 times less massive than Earth. Therefore, the gravitational pull is only 38% of Earth's. If you weigh 100 kilograms on Earth, you weigh 38 kilograms on Mars. If we apply this to Optimus's lifting capabilities, the robot now has a carrying capacity of 52 kilograms, can deadlift 179 kilograms, and has the ability to lift 11 kilograms with an outstretched arm. This greatly improves the functionality of Optimus without having to make power and strength related modifications, which is something Elon Musk and the team at Tesla want to avoid at all costs in the unlikely event Optimus were to go rogue. Much like Tesla's autonomous vehicle fleet, Optimus uses full self-driving, or FSD software, Dojo Supercomputer, onboard vision computer, and multi-camera setup to help interface with the immediate environment. These components will assist Optimus with activities on Mars without the need for continuous human oversight. For example, Optimus's auto-labeling feature will allow the robot to differentiate a piece of vital equipment from a naturally occurring rock formation. If Optimus were to encounter an unknown object on Mars, a human can intervene remotely and apply a label to said unknown object. This currently happens with Tesla vehicles on the roads today. It's important to note that humans on Earth cannot immediately communicate with Optimus on Mars, as both planets are on average 225 million kilometers away from each other. It generally takes five to 20 minutes for a radio signal to travel the distance between the two planets, depending on their positions. Fortunately, the Optimus fleet operates as an interconnected hive mind 
and any new information learnt by one Optimus is seamlessly updated across the entire fleet. Early Martian settlements will have some form of ground-based communications array. However, as time progresses, we could see a Starlink constellation deployed in orbit around Mars for better communication with the Optimus fleet. Before Optimus can begin its vast interplanetary journey to the New World, the robots must undergo analogue missions on Earth, designed to prepare them for every possible scenario. The Optimus robots will be placed on a simulated Martian base and provided with activities that vary in difficulty. The initial activities will involve simple tasks, such as transporting a toolbox from one part of the base to another. Activities towards the end of the mission could involve complex maintenance on the Cybertruck Martian roving vehicle or Starship spacecraft. Tesla and SpaceX engineers overseeing the analog missions could introduce other faulty equipment, human astronauts, and changes in atmospheric conditions designed to mimic Martian dust storms. This would really put the vision computers to the test. Human astronauts also partake in analog missions to help them prepare for the real event. Project High Seas, located on the Mauna Loa volcano in Hawaii, has had four successful analog missions, which ranged from four to 12 months in duration. The crew lived within a 111 square meter dome where they ate freeze dried food, showered within 30 seconds, had delayed contact with the outside world, and couldn't leave their habitat without a spacesuit. This proved to be difficult for humans, as the fifth mission was terminated early due to psychological concerns and sickness. Tesla Optimus is far better suited to life on early Martian settlements, where habitats will be claustrophobic, resources will be scarce, and daily activities to maintain the base will be strenuous. Optimus could provide a turnkey Mars-based solution for future human settlers. When human astronauts do arrive, they're met by all the creature comforts we have on Earth. For example, aquaponics and vertical farms could supply fresh fish, produce and oxygen to early human settlers. Subterranean or overground buildings house spacious living and recreation centers. Large solar farms and expansive Tesla megapacks supply power to the base. All these facilities are pre-built by Optimus robots before humans touch down. As mentioned previously, Mars is an exceedingly hostile planet. Therefore, if an unmodified Tesla Optimus were to venture out on its surface, the 40 electromechanical actuators, lithium-ion batteries, onboard circuitry, and vision computers would freeze, rendering the machine useless. Optimus will need to be outfitted with a temperature regulation system to ensure the lithium-ion batteries are kept at 27 degrees Celsius to optimize efficiency and some form of radiation shielding to protect the vision computer. Since 1997, with NASA's Pathfinder mission, five American rovers have been sent to Mars, the most recent of which, the Perseverance rover, touching down in February 2021. Perseverance is fitted with a warm electronics box, or web, to protect the vital components against the extreme cold, and the circuitry is triple module redundant, with three copies of each circuit used to control a single component. Optimus could use a similar approach to Perseverance with a backpack mounted module containing the extra equipment. This added mass does not compromise performance, as Tesla can add an additional 22 kilograms of extra protection to Optimus due to Mars's decreased gravity. Approximately 100 human astronauts can travel in relative comfort to Mars per Starship whereas SpaceX could fit over 1,300 disassembled Optimus robots inside one Starship. When reaching the destination, fully operational Optimus robots could help assemble their team members, decreasing the number of Starships you would need to bring the early Martian settlements online. We would like to know your thoughts. Should Tesla Optimus be sent to Mars to build a base fit for humans, or should Optimus accompany early human settlers? Let us know in the comments below. With that said, if you would like to support Nanalyze and gain access to hundreds of premium articles, then please click the first link in the description box below. Also check out our free newsletter linked below. Thank you so much for your support and feel free to click the video on screen now as it contains an extremely powerful message which will assist you on your investing journey.